Hello again. It is the third part of Trends Analytics webinar where we will find out more about the bar chart. A bar chart provides a way of showing data values represented as a vertical bars. It is used to compare the multiple data sets side by side. The free configurable sections are used to build a bar graph in trends. To define the x-axis of the chart, horizontal axis, add any field from your topology. To define the y-axis of the graph, vertical axis, add a measurable field. You can add several telemetry fields with required aggregation type. Use the series section to split the telemetry data by categories. Once you add several telemetry fields into y-axis section, the several tabs will be created. To switch between tabs, use the Option buttons. Now let's focus on some particular buildings. By default, the bar chart is vertical. In some cases, it is more representative to show data using the horizontal layout. To change the mode, navigate to Settings section and enable the horizontal bar mode. Select Show labels to compare the values easily. When the bar chart comprises of multiple time series or series of fields, each set is shown independently. In this case, it makes sense to enable Stacked mode for the bar chart. A 100% Stacked bar chart is chart type designed to show the relative percentage of multiple data series in stacked bars, where total of each stacked bar always equals 100%. In this mode, labels will be shown as a percentage. You can control stacked options in the Settings section. Trends Analytics allow to group data by different aggregation types of the telemetry values. In this example, we will analyze the machines that produce different products. Machines submits multiple telemetries that contains info how many products had been produced, amount, what types of product had been produced, product category, and how many resources has been used. Here we want to analyze how many products have been produced totally and divide them into categories. To do that, we need to group telemetry by product value and then apply different types of aggregation. Add machine field into x-axis section to see a breakdown for each machine. We will use unique aggregation type for the product field in series section. And define aggregation type count for the product field in the Y section. Select horizontal stacked bar mode and enable labels. Now we know how many products in different categories has been produced by different machines. Moreover, we can compare the number of resources that have been used for the product of each category. We will continue exploring different types of visualizations. Stay tuned!